From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Enough with the Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh! Bump! Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is D from Brooklyn giving you an update on what used to be the quarantine tank, aka Tiger Killy, aka Blue Ram, aka uh, Better Tank. Um, everybody's doing good. You see, my Rams have really colored up really nicely. The electric blues kicked the bucket. I kind of gave up on them because they were really busting my chops. My Killies are like really beautiful. I never kept Killies before, but I got some fry from our aquarium meeting back in, I believe it was in uh, March. And these guys have grown nicely. They're starting to show their colors. The stripes are really, really clear there. The tail fins are getting pretty long. And they're living just nice with the fish in there. Nobody fights. Nobody's getting pecked down. The bed is really, really big. <laughs> I got a couple of albino quarries in there swimming around just to keep the bottom stirred up and make sure nothing falls between the cracks there. They do an excellent job. And the plants are growing off the hook. You can see the glass is a little dirty. I don't fiddle around with this tank too much. I don't put any additives or any, anything like that in there. And they're doing all right. Pretty much filtered with the power head with a charcoal cartridge. I just took out the cartridge and got a little, uh, some uh, ammo carbs in there, some ammo chips, which do a pretty good job filtering the water. Everybody's colored up. I was feeding them a lot of flake food, but I've switched off of flakes, so I'm feeding them basically brine shrimp and bloodworms now, because I noticed in my larger tank, the uh, colors were getting really dulled out, and I got to attribute it predominantly to the flake food. I was feeding them a lot of flake, and their colors were really washing out a little bit, so I'm um, going back to the natural stuff. And uh, everybody's doing good. I was hoping that the rams would uh, breed up, so time will tell. They're in here for about two months now. I had an electric blue, but the electric blues, I tried it twice. They kept coming down with strange uh, scale illnesses. Like they weren't doing good and he tend to chase these guys around, but he would end up dead. So I did that twice. He would chase them around, chase them around, but he ended up kicking the bucket. So I says, look, no room in Brooklyn for soft fish. So these guys are paired up. They swim around like, you know, like uh, a... <laughs> regular couple there and they're eating nice and looking nice so uh, stick with what's working babe plants are doing good it's dirt under the substrate just some dirt regular miracle grow dirt and uh, that's it I'm leaving them alone and time will tell I've got tons of this you know just algae I pull it out every week and I put it in my uh, bedded tank upstairs and when it outgrows that I give it to my tangs to eat in the saltwater tank. They love eating it for some reason but if anybody's in the market for any of this I'll bring some to what the next uh, bass meeting because <laughs> I, you can see I got tons of it which is probably one of the reasons why the tank is so healthy because I don't have any filtration in here other than water changes and some carbon. The plants do an excellent job of keeping the water parameters clear. pH is about 7.5 uh, and everybody's looking healthy. So this is my update on the 10 gallon. Check us out on Facebook. Check out the other YouTube videos. Until next time, this is D signing out. See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya.